She's not hurting me. No. I'm so happy to be in this bucket of cold water. Thank you, chicken mama. You're the best. You're welcome, sweet girl. So good. You know I take care of my girls. Yeah. Right here in front of the fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gonna come to me, Dottie? Dottie, you want in on this action? Yeah, you do. Doesn't she? Yeah. My sweet girl, my sweet girl. <laughs> we just had buckets. <laughs> they can just come sit in them. Maybe you should. It's a bird bath. <laughs> Look, at Look at them just sitting there. Yeah, and she know what she's not doing. Panting heavy. That's kind of weird. Funny. Yeah, you know what? I might get you to go get another bucket. Why? Because we've got those buckets up there. We can put cool water. I mean, if they want to sit in them, I don't mind leaving as long as they don't drown. Well, what about them little ones? They might get hurt. I have to. I'll have to stick them in it because they've never done anything like that. Get a smaller bucket. But we have three more up there. So I think that might be a good idea. So if I said, look, she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you like it? Yeah? Chickens like to be petted on their neck because they can't reach it themselves. Yeah, does that feel so good? Yeah, put some water up there. I know when I'm having a hot flash, I like it on, I like a cool neck. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, I think that's what we should probably do. Let's get those other buckets. And... Sorry, I couldn't film. <laughs> Giving the little girls um, their first bath. <laughs> it took all of me. First to catch them. And then give them their first bath. They've all been dipped. They're all, the fans blowing on them. They're up there. They, oh, I'm sorry. It's kind of uh, blurry. Hold on. <clears throat> I, whoop, somebody just went to the bathroom. Alrighty then. So Lacey's down there. She's, she's the low one on the totem pole. Um, she's pretty much the smallest one right now however she'll be bigger like um, Daisy the uh, barred rock up there she's a heritage breed um, I honestly don't know the Easter eggers how big they're gonna be everything I've been reading about them they can differ so um, cookie there my little white one she actually liked getting dunked so did the uh, Plymouth barred rock um, I would say Honey, the well summer, wasn't real thrilled. She was probably the loudest. And so they're up there. They are panting. Um, but I just gave them cold water. And I actually gave them a smaller bucket with water. If they want to come sit in it, they can. I will probably duck them again late this evening. Because I think our heat advisory goes up to eight or nine o'clock tonight and um, I will say the shade cloth has definitely cooled down their their coop area so um, I'm just hoping and praying that that helps them 
they had eaten their little treats. I'd given them some ice cold um, romaine and some ice cold tomatoes that were sliced. And um, I'll bring them some spinach later that I have in the fridge. Sorry, I know that was kind of blurry. But this one, <laughs> so these are my big girls. They got in the bath. I did them at least three times each. But my Goldie girl decided she wanted to soak in her tub. And so I have just let her be. She's been in here for probably about 20-ish minutes now. You feeling good, girl? Yeah? I also changed their water in the coop. And I cannot believe this, but if you can see back there, it's so hazy. There, I don't know if you can see back there, but there are eggs in their nesting box. That's their favorite nesting box. They all like to lay in there. They've actually laid, laid uh, eggs in this heat. Um, and it, it means that they even heat it up more um, to do that. They're still cleaning themselves from their little baths. Yeah? Are you ever going to come out? Huh? Are you ever going to come out, Miss Thing? You okay? Did you enjoy your bath? Yeah? Do you want me to refresh it? You want to refresh her? I can go make it cold again. Now, all these girls actually got out of this bucket. I don't know if the little ones could. That's why I put um, one of those. Those are like pig feeding bowls or whatever. Um, and that's why I originally bought them was so they could have baths. These girls never really liked it, and that's why I knew I always had to kind of give them baths. Um, but then once they get in there, they're kind of okay. So I'm thinking about refilling the tractor supply bucket and about a third. I don't know. I could empty that out, clean it out, and put water in that one and see if they sit in it. But she totally flew out two other times. So I know she could get out of here if she wanted to. But I don't think she really wants to. I think she's digging this. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Of course, I don't know. They, I don't know if they're jealous or not. I will say that um, my black Osterlort, she stayed in there the least amount. She was, I dunked her, got her good and wet, and she was good to go. And as I said, they are from Australia. They're an Australian breed. So, they typically do okay in the heat. She's not even panting. So, she was panting some before I dipped her. But um, the other two, though, they're, they were very happy to get in the water. So, once I got them in, they kept coming back up to me. Um, so, anyway, if you have any pets outside, um, matter of fact, I need to try to find out where fat, I think fat's, fat, fat kitty cat's up in my, my room, actually. I'm hoping. If not, I've got to go find him. I'm pretty sure he's up in my bedroom, though. So, you got to remember your pets in this kind of heat. If they're outside, you definitely want to think about your plants, but you really don't want to water them right now in the heat of the day and the sun of the day. Think about if you get in the swimming pool and this time of day, I mean, that, that water is just going to reflect off you, and you're going to get burned up. So that's why it's better to water early in the morning or early evening. So I will be watering the garden this evening. I didn't water it this morning because I had watered it yesterday morning and we watered lightly yesterday evening before we fertilized. Um, we did, our son got us a composting tea. So we did our second application with the composting tea and I'm really liking it, so I'm hoping to do a review on that in the next week or so. Um, but I kind of want to give it like a month before I do that. So, But so far, that's been pretty good. So this evening, it will get a good soaking. Unless we, we're one of the few that might get a, a thunderstorm pop up from this, but it says our heat indices... It's supposed to be 109, and um, 
our temperature is like 95, 96 degrees today. And it's supposed to be like this for like the next 10 days. I think our coolest day, I think it was like 92 and little to no rain. So um, you can see how fluffy they look. They're, they fluffed out because I got them wet. And she's still chill. She's just like, yeah, this is nothing. You just give me my bucket and I'll be good all summer. <laughs> There's so many uses for a tractor supply bucket. So many uses. Well, anyway, thank you. If you found this video of value, if you have friends who have some backyard chickens and they're worried um, about them, please, you know, share our video, like our video, subscribe to our channel. I actually hoping to have, I did um, my oatmeal bake, I did a berry version of it, and I'm hoping to get that video up later this week, um, showing you, because we're in strawberry, blackberry, blueberry season, and it, it is delicious. As a matter of fact, I had it for lunch today. It was so good. Um, so, um, check, check us out, and... Um, Thank you for watching, and until next time. Hi, I'm Brandy. Uh, welcome to my channel, Sewing Back. I just wanted to have a little intro. Um, I forgot to do this at the beginning when I came out to start giving my chickens chicken baths to help cool them down. And I just uh, wanted to let you know who I am and the name of my channel. And this is, today I am showing you how in, um, Kennesaw, Georgia. We're about 26 miles from downtown Atlanta. Um, this is how we survive the swamp. Uh, it gets hot. There's a reason it's called hot Atlanta. It gets hot and it's, it's, it's a different kind of hot because of the humidity and I'm drenched and I didn't get a bath. So this is just from sweating, <laughs> maybe a little wet from taking chickens in and out. Um, of the bath, but anyway, I wanted to make a video to show that even though your chickens may not like it, once they kind of get in, they are thankful. It helps cool them down. It helps keep them from panning so much, gives them kind of a break because they, it's hard to breathe. Like the heat, it's, it's, I mean, it's bad air quality. They tell people, no, right, we have a, um, advisory. If you have asthma, any of that stuff, you should not be outside in this because it's so hard to breathe. So if you have chickens, um, imagine that they have feathers and, um, yeah, so they need to have definitely shade, lots of water, um, cool things to nourish them, to hydrate them. You can actually get, um, it's not Gatorade, but it's like Gatorade for chickens that they, they have little packs you can put in their water and it helps hydrate them and give them those electrolytes they need. Um, doing those things, making sure not be giving your chickens this time of year corn. Um, they love it, they'll eat it, but it, it heats their body up and it can kill them, to be quite honest, when it's this hot because corn, you have to digest it, has a lot of fiber and that heats your body up. And so uh, not a good idea to give that to chickens this time of year. That's why it's so good to give it to them. If you're gonna give it to them, you have a good source of it and it's, uh, clean corn, all that kind of stuff, uh, in the winter because it helps warm them, especially if you give it to them in the evening before the sun goes down. So just be keeping that in mind, giving them some good protein, um, lots of veg, cold things, watermelon, any kind of fruit, all that kind of stuff is definitely going to help. But what really helped, yeah, she's still in here, y'all. <laughs> Chicken baths. <laughs> and, and yes, this is a tractor supply bucket. So that's what we have been doing. We've been changing out the water so it's cold. And I have different buckets for um, my younger chickens because we're still in isolation. The, the flock is not together. Um, we will eventually become one flock, I hope. Um, but we're still under that quarantine period um, with the new ones. Um, not that they've shown any sign of being sick or anything like that. But when it's this hot outside, You've got to make sure they're getting plenty of water. Um, we also have fans. They have they have a box fan. My other ones have their fan. Um, and matter of fact, I didn't turn their fans off last night until 10:30 last night. Um, 
they ran from 8 a.m. last night until 10.30 last night. And I even kept their coop door open of my big girls so they could get even more of a cross breeze. Um, it's totally secure because of all the hardware cloth. So I haven't, I've been fine doing that. Um, but anyway, got to keep them cool. And there she goes. I guess she's ready to get out of her bath now. You done, girl? Yeah? You done? There we go. And there you go. <laughs> so I'm probably going to uh, see if I can dunk any of them before I empty out the water. One more time before I head in because it's hot. And I've been out here a good hour now giving chicken baths. So, um, matter of fact, I may go give myself a cold shower uh, so I can cool down. And it probably will not be the last one I get today. <laughs> so, anyway, y'all stay cool out there.